Howdy, howdy everyone. Today in this video, you will learn step by step method how you can add daily, weekly, monthly and yearly reminder in Microsoft Outlook application. Setting a reminder is very important. There are tons of tasks, events, appointments which you want to remember and you don't want to miss them. So Outlook is a very great platform where you can set up the reminder and that will automatically notify you for the upcoming event according to the setup or inputs you entered in the system. So open your Outlook from the home tab. There is an option new. So new items click on the drop down and there is an option appointment. You can also use control shift A to click on this appointment. And that will open a new appointment window. Here you can set up the title, say boss birthday. If I want to set the reminder on the yearly basis or monthly basis, that means I want to set up a recurring reminder. So here I have to click on the make recurring. When I click on here, appointment recurring dialog box appears. So here you have to select the pattern, the recurring pattern. If you want the reminder on the daily basis, weekly, monthly or yearly. The birthday of my boss comes on the yearly basis. So I set yearly. Now here recurring every. So I want to set up the time period. So say for 10 years, I'm sure I, my boss will be changed after 10 years because I don't want to work on with this company for the for my whole life. So maximum to 10 years on you can select the month. So I select April and the date say 10th. Now you have to set up the time, start time. So I want the reminder sharp at eight o'clock and end on for two hours. That is 10 o'clock duration two, two hours. You can set up the range of the recurring from here also, although I have already taken the date for 10 years. So you can change it to end by, you can change the year. You can also change it to end after 10 occurrence. That means 10 years, similar, no end date. So I don't want to set the no end date and simply hit OK. Now everything is set. Occurs every 10 years on April 10th, effective 10th of April 2023 until 10th of April. Now, if I want to set up the location, you can enter the location here. If you want to set up a message, you can set up your message also and simply hit save button. Now when I click save, so to cross check, you can simply click on the calendar icon from the left navigation section, select on months. And here is my 10th of April. Here you can check out boss birthday, 10th of April, eight to 10 and 15 minutes before. And my appointment is set on the 10th of April. Now there is another method you can set. You can simply go to the calendar, Select the date, say 12th, double click on it. And this will also open the event dialog box. Now I click on say 12th. Now the same event dialog box appears. Now here I have to enter the inputs. Now again, click on make recurring. I want to pay the rent on 7th. So I want to show you from this section this time, range of recurring. Start date is say 7th. 7th. April 2023 and end by after. So I am currently living in this, in this apartment for the next 20 months. So I just set the reminder to 20 months. Simply hit OK. Occurs day 12th of every first month. Effective 12th of April 2023 until 12th of November 2024, which is correct. I can name it rent payment. I can also set up the location. I can add some content here. Simply hit save and close. Now you can see my calendar shows rent payment and you can also check out this rent payment on every month on the 12th date. So I will show you see on the May 12th, June 12th, the rent payment is due on every month. So when I set the reminder on the specific date for every month, 
I will get a notification from Outlook that will remind me of the payment of my rent. Similarly, you can set up the reminder on the daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis and yearly basis. That will help me personally a lot and you can also use this feature and you will never skip an important event or appointment which is very important for you. As a disclosure, I use this feature to increase my credit rating and which help me to increase the credit limit of my credit card. I usually make the payment on the exact date when I receive my bill. So this reminder helped me to make the payment exactly on the day I receive the bill. I hope you have learned something new from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe this YouTube channel and also click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with thank you and have a nice day